Hey everybody, this is Richard with Spirits of Japan. Uh, we are uh, on our third blog of the Imperial Lineage of Japan on the uh, Emperors of Japan. Uh, uh, one and two were separate, um, and uh, all of them will be except for this one part here, which we're going to take Emperors 3 through 9 and kind of junk them together in an, an 8 or 9 minute deal here. And the reason we're going to do that is because there's not a lot of information on them except for their lineage, uh, born dates, died dates, and things like that. So I'm going to I'm gonna plow through this. Um, we talked about in our last uh, blog was Emperor Suize and uh, the second emperor of Japan. Uh, he dies at the age of 83 in 549 BC. He had a wife who was a, 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 the daughter of a god and also the granddaughter of another god. Uh, her name was Isuzu Yori, and they had um, two kids, a daughter, and then they had uh, uh, Emperor Ane. Ane marries also a daughter, uh, a granddaughter of a god, a daughter of a prince, the prince of Kamo. Her name is Nuna Soko. And uh, when they get married, uh, and this is going to be for the next few emperors, as a matter of fact, is, um, wow, they, there's no consorts uh, given at all. Uh, three, four, five, and I think six, um, the, the four emperors, uh, next emperors are, are, are just with their wives. They all punch out a couple of kids each. And uh, the first one, um, Emperor Ane, he marries Nuna Soko, and they have two children, uh, uh, Oyamato Hikosuki Tomo, which is the uh, Emperor Itoku, who will become the fourth emperor of Japan at the age of 43. Um, emperor uh, Ane ends up dying at the age of 67, but his son, a uh, uh, pretty, pretty good life, ends up dying at the age of 76. He is uh, one of, I'm sorry, three kids. Now, one, one child's name is Shikitsuhiko, and the other is Okiso Mimi. Okiso Mimi has a daughter named Princess Amano Toyototsu. And Princess Amano Toyototsu marries her uncle. Okay? And they have two children. So a little bit of, uh, um, you know, but uh, the blood of the gods is a little bit stronger than just regular blood being uh, passed between each other. So they have two kids. Um, the first one being Emperor Kosho. Uh, Emperor Kosho ends up being the emperor at the age of 31, dies. He's the first one has a really, uh, really uh, long life uh, since uh, since uh, the first emperor, Jimbu, passed away at 126. He lives to be 130, 113 years old. Uh, he had two sons. And he, him um, and this Princess Amano uh, have Emperor Kosho, which Emperor Kosho is going to be uh, the fifth emperor of Japan. And Emperor Kosho marries uh, a girl named um, Princess Yoso Tarashi. Uh, Kosho also had a sister. Um, I don't know, maybe not a sister. Takeshiko Kushito Mose. Maybe that's a boy. Um, I, I could not find whether it was a girl or a boy. They may have updated it already. I should go back and look. But Princess Yoso Tarashi is, is from outside. So now we got this other princess that comes from outside, marries uh, the uh, fifth emperor of Japan, and they have two kids. Amatarashi Hikokuni Oshihito, which is very important. Just remember her Amatarashi. All right. And then uh, uh, Emperor Konan. He has a really long name, so we're just going to skip it. Now, Emperor Konan marries Amatarashi's daughter. Ma'am, again, um, uh, this uh, two significant things. It's pretty much the end of um, emperors marrying into uh, for this uh, first ten emperors have married into their own family uh, that closely. And then the second thing is uh, this is the end of what we call the Jomon period, uh, which started about fourteen thousand BC and ends in three hundred uh, BC. And uh, there's uh, twenty something different emperors. If the the the, the art uh, eclectic world or uh, political changes took place, a period would change in Japan. So you have all these different periods. Uh, it's the beginning of what we call the Yayoi period, and we'll get into that later. Uh, but this emperor um, Koan, who marries his niece, has again two kids. But uh, this this next one, Kore, uh, becomes emperor at the age of fifty two in uh, two ninety B C. He dies when he's 127. Now, this guy is the first to really kind of, uh, you know, have uh, in a while to have consorts. Uh, he not only, does, he marries uh, 
uh, princess. Uh, her name was Hoso no Mikoto. Um, he has a, a little sister, right? And then he marries that princess Hoso no Mikoto. They have only one child, which was going to become the uh, eighth emperor of Japan. And then from there, he has, um, uh, let's just call her Kasuga. She has a really long name. I'll put it up for you so you can uh, try to pronounce that. And uh, she only has one daughter. And then he, he finds a princess, Yamato. They have a prince and two princesses. And then uh, a, a, a lady named Hai Irodo. And uh, they have uh, two boys, it looks like. So uh, four, seven, eight. There's seven, one, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven kids he has. So now this is the first time in a while that the empress had so many kids. Um, the first one he had, though, was uh, with... Uh, the princess Hoso no Mikoto and is a uh, uh, becoming uh, Kogen. Kogen becomes the eighth emperor in Japan in 214 BC at the age of 59. He's uh, dies when he's 115 years old. Um, he also has a multiple of, of children, and uh, what he does as the eighth emperor, he marries this lady named uh, Utsushi Kome. They have together four kids, and the third child is going to end up being. Uh, emperor Kaika, which is the ninth emperor and the last emperor we're going to talk about. But um, he has a um, two uh, consorts. One is called Ikaga Shikome. Now remember that. Put it right down here because you got to remember that. Ikaga, Ikaga Shikome had to have one son. And then uh, Princess Haniyasu and they have a son. So he has six kids in all. So one by each consort, and then four. Now, this Emperor Kaika, uh, that's the third third born of with his mother, uh, is born. And Emperor Kaika ends up marrying Daddy's lover, Ikagashikome, and producing another emperor. Yeah, and that would be Empress Suijin, which would be the uh, 10th emperor, which we have a lot of information on him. Uh, he was down in Sakurai, uh, south of Nara, so we'll talk about him uh, later. But uh, Emperor Kaika also, well, you know, what's he doing? He's uh, uh, not only did he marry uh, Ikagashi Kome and have uh, two children, he had uh, Suijin, which becomes the emperor, and a young lady named Mimatsuhime. But the, the late, uh, the, 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 he had, let's see, one, two, Three. He had three consorts. Now, the first consort is uh, called Princess Tani Wataka no. She has one boy. Hahatsu, the young lady, has Hikoi Masu, and then Washihime has another child. So there are three children by three consorts, plus um, between him and Ikagashi Kome, they have one, so he has four children. So with all of that, we've gotten down. Uh, three, four, five, and six, with just two children each, popping out, getting down to uh, the seven, eighth, and ninth emperors, which all had multiple consorts, multiple children, but usually stayed with, uh, you know, the the child of their wives becoming emperors eventually. So that's uh, three through nine for today. Uh, we are now uh, Kaika became emperor at the age of fifty, dies at the age of one hundred and ten. He became, he was emperor from 157 B.C. to 98 B.C. So now our next segment will be about uh, Emperor, uh, one of my favorite guys is Emperor Sui Jin because there's a lot of things that happened with him. And uh, we'll talk about in our next segment. Again, thank you very much. This is Richard with uh, Spirits of Japan, and we'll keep going. Bye.